Hello, Scorpios. This is your reading for June. I know, I'm late. What can I say? What can I say, guys? Let's see. I'm also going to come back in a few days and get you guys um, your mid-month up. Okay? Let's see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, guys. Love messages for June. What's going on around my Scorpios? Ooh, Six of Pentacles. Um, I'm, I'm, this is Taurus energy, but I'm getting the sense that a lot of you guys are feeling like something's not fair. Okay, you're wanting you're wanting reciprocity in a situation here. Okay, feeling like somebody is giving more to a situation or to other people than they are to you. What's crossing you is the moon. Is the fact that you don't know this for sure. But you kind of feel it in your gut is what I'm getting. And it's like, it's got you like waning like the moon back and forth your moods, you know, because you're really not sure of what is actually going on. Okay. Let's see the underlying issue. The seven of pentacles. You've invested a lot of energy, a lot of time in this situation. And you don't want to just see it fall to the wayside. You don't want to feel like it's in vain. So, hmm. there's a question um, of if the other person is wanting to invest more with you. Are they as invested as you are? That is the issue. I feel like a lot of you guys are waiting on someone. It's like um, not being in control. Like your your future, your whatever whatever it is that you are wanting. It's like you're depending upon someone else to show you what it is that they have, what they have to offer, what they're going to do. Okay. I feel a lot of you guys are in your feelings right now. Okay. And it could very well be a Taurus individual that is doing this, making you feel this way. <clears throat> the recent past, it's the eight of eight of wands, the ace of wands here. Hmm. I feel like there was a lot of communication. I feel like it was fast communication. Things got started very quickly with you and someone else. Um, you were attracted to this person. It was very sexual. It was very heated. But I feel like now it's, it's like this waiting game and you're really not sure how this person feels about you because you're feeling like they're, they're somebody else or there's something else that they're doing that's like drawing their attention away from you. Hmm. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are here. The fool. You're thinking about leaving, um, starting over, leaving this behind, going somewhere else, stepping out on faith. You know, uh, I'm getting that a lot of you also feel foolish because it's you almost feel like you invested your time and energy into a situation, and this person basically was playing games with you or stringing you along. While you were investing into them, they possibly were investing with someone else is the way that you're feeling. Feeling like maybe, um, you know, this was just like a, a sexual thing for them. Could be an Aries, Piscean, Cancer individual as well. What's coming in for my Scorpios? Page of Swords. Um, I'm feeling like you will find out some truth. There's something that I feel like you guys are going to find out about a situation with this individual. And honestly, I feel like whatever it is that you will find out, I feel like you're going to be pleased with it. 
I'm just getting that. Whether it's something that you find out online, whether it's a um, uh, communication that you have with this individual, um, there's something I feel like is going to be eye-opening and pleasing to you. It's like almost going to be like, okay, good, that kind of thing, that situation. Hmm. Got a lot of cards. Want to jump out there? How is Scorpio feeling about this situation? The chariot. You feel confident. You feel confident that you are able to move on. If this is a situation that you are not getting what you need out of, um, you're able to move on and explore, explore other options. Okay? Whatever it is, I feel like this is not bringing you down in the dumps. Okay? This is not holding you back. You're prepared to leave and do something else. Invest your time elsewhere, I feel. I feel like you definitely would like to see um, this situation with this individual progress. But um, I don't feel like you. it's going to be like this tragic ending if it doesn't progress with you and this person. I don't feel like that. Um, then we have a Queen of Swords energy here. Could be a Libra, Gemini, I feel, that is significant for some of you guys. But I definitely feel like you will find out some truth, you will feel better about it, and you will you'll be able to face um, whatever is coming towards you and move on with the knowledge that you learn because I definitely feel like there's something that you're going to learn that's going to ease your mind that's going to clear things up for you with this Queen of Swords energy because basically you just want to know the truth you want to know the truth about this situation and I feel you um, will find it out whether it's through your own explorations or whether it's a very um, open and relaxed conversation with this individual about the situation. Okay. Your hopes or fears. The Nine of Swords. Your fears are that you don't want to overthink this. You don't want to let your your thoughts just completely take control of you because the Nine of Swords is a lot of over thinking, overactive imagination, thinking things that are not necessarily true, okay? Just kind of getting something in your head and coming to your own conclusions. That's what the Nine of Swords is, and that's what you don't want to do, okay? You want to be able to use your discernment and make a right and just decision here, and I feel like you will, honestly. Oh, gosh, okay. I did see that one, so I'm going to go ahead and take that and see what the overall is here. Um, the Knight of Swords. Hmm. The Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords are facing towards the future. So I feel that um, there's a lot of truth that you will find out about this situation because you're determined to find out what the hell is going on here and I definitely see you doing that. After you find out what it is that you need to know, I see you moving forward and I see you being successful doing that. I see a lot of air in your um, reading, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Cancer's here, Pisces, Taurus, um, and I feel Aries is here, guys. So that is what I have for you for June, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.